Oh wow. So you now offer me breakfast. I have a maid, remember? I I know that ma. And I equally know that you never wake me up to make me breakfast. Because I know you feel that you're bothering her. Maybe I don't like breakfast. <sighs> Madam. I know that I'm just an ordinary gift, ma. But you've been so nice to me. And you pay me well as you pay me well too. I'm saying that you work so hard. You leave this house as early as possible and come home very late at night. I'm just trying to return the kindness. So you wouldn't let me drive you to work. At least allow me to do this. I'll feel much better knowing that at least she eats once in a day. Ah, damn. Are you saying I don't know how to take care of myself? Do you? Fine. I accept. 
on the condition that you will call me Lydia. But you your boss, I know. But it's not on your job description for you to prepare me breakfast, is it? So, do we have a deal? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes, Linda. Finally! Finally, I won an argument with you! <laughs> Gosh! Uh, that's simply because I wanted you to win. Oh, please. But you win anyway. Um, you win. Uh huh. Let me have. Thank, Thank you. And um, do you have a nice apple? Thank you. Huh. Madam, are you driving okay? Yes. Oh. I, I can help you. I can do that for you. Adam, go oh, watch the gate. Don't worry. Okay. Bye. Just be safe, okay? I will, and you too. Bye. Enjoy your food. Ah. What is this? The food is too small. I don't give us me. Ha! The children eat. I mean, me, me, I want more. You want more? Where is that tongue? Look at you. Don't you know people, people, people don't have food to eat? You, you have food to eat and you're complaining. There is recession. Things are hard. Auntie Mercy, we know things are hard. But you can't tell me that only you and Uncle Adam will finish all this food. They do not put in the pot. Yes. There is enough food in the pot. There is enough food in my pot. How is that your business? But I quail. It is not your fault, it's our mommy's fault. Hey, your mommy's fault. Okay. Oh yeah, come and carry it now. Come and carry it. This is your mommy's fault. Kata. Me and my eating this. Eh? Oh, you're not eating. Hey, thank God though. Let me add this. <laughs> oh, we'll eat it, we'll eat it. We'll you will eat it? Mm. Hmm. I thought you don't want to eat. Let me add it to my own food. I know your problem. You want me to give you the food in the whole world so that you will eat and get fat and become useless and full everywhere. That's what you want. But I'm not going to do that. You hear me? Foolish girls. Useless children. Idiots. Oh, you're yeah, eating. No problem. Mm -hmm. Madam has finally decided to give us to in this house today. Thank God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey! What's wrong with this idiot in this house for goodness sake? Imagine what. Why have I done to this house? Why have I done to her in this house? Imagine what she gave. To a grown up man like me to eat this morning. Imagine. Mercy, what, what have I done to you? Eh? Mercy! 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 <laughs> Why are you shouting my name? Like, are you the one that gave me the name? Eh? Mercy, what are you shouting? Mercy, what, what is this? Eh? 
you and I know that this thing you gave to me will not be enough for five years old child. Yet you have the mind to give it to me. Listen, what have I done to you in this house? What have I done to you? Eh? I am tired of this nonsense in this house. I am tired, Mercy. Eh? There is mine. Oh, are you meditating? Eh? Are you doing that? There is mine. Are you thinking about it? I should resign. I am sorry to disappoint you because I'm not working for you. Yes. And I'm not working for you either. Adam, I'm not working for you. Eh? Is it because I did not fill your cup to the brim? And your hair vibrating. Mercy, mercy, mercy. I know mother want me to give you people big, big food so that you eat and get lazy. And laziness be gone. Poverty. And I cannot allow that in this house. Hmm? Mercy. Mercy, you better stop this nonsense in this house. Stop acting as if you're the one in charge. In someone's house. In a woman's house, not yours. Okay. Oh. Adam, I'm in charge for here. For this place, I'm in charge. The earlier you accept it, the better for all of us. I'm in charge. I'm gonna... uh, uh, Foolish uh, uh, man. Uh, wait, wait, wait. What I don't actually understand is this. Madam, she pay you very well. And she treats you like her own sister. Yet every now and then your body they prepare you like someone that chicken needles all over. Wait, wait. Are you sure you're not a witch? <laughs> you are the witch! You are the natural witch! You are papa! You are mama! Witch! Witch! Let me, let me. Look at him! Even though your men are dying in the baby office, do a baby jobs, import and export. Yeah, yeah, see him. Open and close. That's him out. Eh? Yeah. I know that I'm just not nasty to him, but I do my job with him. Happiness and joy. Yes. Of course. Hey, that is why I said that you are cursed. Adam, you are cursed. If you are not cursed, how can you be happy doing ordinary gets man? Adam, you are cursed. Go for deliverance, you are cursed. Hi! Mercy, for your information, I am no longer interested. You can go with the food. You can go with it. Thank you! Thank you, Mercy! I don't need it anymore. Ha! Yes! I've lost my appetite. I don't need to eat your food again. Go eat it and get more bigger. Adam, you can go with it. What can you do? I am not doing anything. You can do nothing. You can go with your food. You, you can do Let nothing. Me I said you can do nothing. I did not sure. There is nothing you can do. Eh? You let this man. He's yours. Look at him. I will not carry the food. You will eat it. Because I know very soon that you'll be hungry. I don't want you to die. So that my dad will say, Mercy, I've killed uh, uh, his guest man. You will eat it. You see, come back, eat it. Foolish. You better come here and cut this video. I am not interested anymore, like you I said. Eat it. I don't Stop want to. It. You will eat it. Enjoy it. Ah. Oh. Come and carry I'm, I, 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 I'm no longer interested. Come and carry your food. I don't want you to die. Eat it. Eat it. What is wrong with this woman for good? Why, why are you so wicked? In someone's house. And it's not as if there's no no food in this. There's enough to, 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 to there's enough. It's just out of wickedness. Just just imagine. Can you imagine? Come and try this video. Auntie Mercy, you said it is best to eat small plates of food. Why are you eating full plates? I'm a working since morning. Since morning. Auntie Mercy, it's a lie. You did not do anything. All you did was to carry cane and make me and my twin sister do all the housework. So, you think telling you talking this morning is not work. It's the biggest work somebody can do. Hmm? Oh, why me? Why am I even explaining myself to small girl like you? Hmm. Hmm. Same there. Same there. Me, I want more food though. Oh. So you're not challenging me in this house, Cindy. You're not challenging me. What? On your news? No. Look, Auntie Mason has said we should be eating small plate of food. Look, okay, she's eating big plate of food with meat. I disobey me, Cindy. Hmm? Sister. 
Flogged by twin sister. Yes! Flog her six strokes! No, I can't flog her. Sing the legend. Hey! Come back here! What are you going to do with my teaching? Come out! Look at these girls. You think you have grown wings? Hmm? Me and you in this house. I'm going to eat tomorrow. But you disobeyed me. What do you think my mom would do when she finds out that you are maltreating her kids? Eh? If you tell your mommy, I will kill you. And I will kill your sister too. Just one you. <laughs> I know that could of you and Timessi. I'm just respecting you, but I can see you don't deserve the respect you give you. Did you just say something to me? Nothing. That girl is up to something for her. But I must find out what it is. Then we shall see. God, I'm going to win in this game. Yeah! I won! <laughs> okay. So, what are we telling mommy? Nothing. What do you mean nothing? Auntie Mercy is wicked. Our mom needs to know. I know, but Cindy. What we should do is that if mom should come back, we should tell mom to be coming home early. In that way, mom can see that Auntie Mercy is very wicked. But I'm hungry. And this game we're playing is not making sense. I'm not concentrating on this game. And she said we're not eating tomorrow. I want to eat tomorrow. Cindy, don't worry. You'll not be hungry tomorrow, yeah? But I'm hungry now. Okay. I think. Let me get you something in the kitchen. If Auntie Mercy catches me in the kitchen, don't worry, she won't do anything. She won't catch me. Yeah. Hey, thief! Give me that food. I'm not a thief. If you're not a thief, then why did you take the food without my permission? I don't need the permission before taking food from my mother's food. Hey, give, give it to me. You will eat only when I say so. Anyway, the food is not for me. It's for my twin sister. And she swore that she was so faint because of hunger. Okay. I'll go ahead and tell her to faint. But... Where she faints, you need to call the doctor. And the doctor needs to call our mom. What do you think, Mrs. Linda, or Cousy, 
the branch manager of ICC Bank will do. Then she find out that one of her daughters fainted because of hunger. Hmm? Sydney! 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 Okay, fine. Take it. Eat it. Finish it. Eh? But there won't be TV for you tonight. Eat well. You are too smart. You too. Will you be able to finish this food? I cannot finish it. We'll eat it together. Okay. ta -da. <laughs> Cool. Wow, wonderful. <laughs> Adam. Our new car. Oh, yes, this is Gold my new Miracle. official car. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is beautiful. Nice, right? Oh, I'm so happy for you. I'm Thank so happy you. for you. Thank you. What about the one you left in the one your your Rika? Oh, I left it at the office. Mm. Oh. Sorry, I forgot your food flask. Oh, come on, forget it. You can bring it home anytime, any day. All right, I'll get it tomorrow for you. Hi, hi. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, um, please, don't tell me how tired I look, okay? I was only going to ask how was your day. Hectic as usual. But Adam, what do you expect now that I'm manager of the bank? You think I'll be able to have some free time? No way. It is worse. Oh, no. No, 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 Adam. I said no lectures. Anyway, you don't have to explain yourself to me. How my princess is doing? Sure, they're fine. Ah, they must be asleep by now. Asleep? Of course it's late. <gasps> Why can't you hear the sound of Jane everywhere? It's late now. Oh, no. See, I tried coming home early, but the traffic, the traffic is cruel in the evenings. But you don't really have to explain yourself to me. But you don't approve me. You're always judging me. No, I am not. You only think that I'm judging you because you're judging yourself. Anyway, like you said, you're tired for any lecture this evening. <laughs> oh, so why don't you go in, take your bath, look for what is and rest? Okay, thank you for the breakfast. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I will only accept your thanks on one condition. I'm tired, Ada. I, I know it's just going to take it. Just a minute. A minute? Is it because you want me to agree to this condition of yours? But, but you can see you're doing the laying your rest, not me. Fine. What is the condition? Okay, fine. That you will allow me to do this every morning. What? But. Okay. okay, okay, I accept, but if you have to be giving me breakfast every day, I have to provide the ingredients. <laughs> Deal? <laughs> no, 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 it's not negotiable. Do we have a deal? Fine. Fine? <laughs> yes, I won again. <laughs> and this time... You can't tell me or you can't claim you wanted me to win. Uh, no, you, yeah, you, I did not. You want fair and square. Fair and square? Oh, of course you did. <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs>
see. I had a bad dream and I couldn't go back to sleep. I remember when our teacher said, Nick makes someone sleep. Really? Yes, I know I can't take only milk. Then, I, 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 no. what happened? I heard someone scream. Mommy, you're back. Yes, I'm back. Are you making tea? Yes, do you want, want to go back to sleep? Want to? Yes, I can make one for you. We eat bread. Toast. I want to toast. You want bread? You know we can't possibly wake Auntie Mercy up from sleep. She has been working all day and she needs to take some rest. But... Uh, Cindy, no! No pampering tonight. Take this tea. Let me go in and bring bread for you. Fine. Mm. <laughs> Drink your tea. to talk about Mercy said you had no complaints I asked her you know and to Mercy is not aware of our complaint because we wish to speak with you okay I'm listening what is it mom you know how, how it's how hard it is for you but mom we miss you yes want to spend time with our mother not a maid I know. I know I've been busy with work. I miss you too. And I really want to spend some time with you too. Mommy, this is our stomach holiday. Mommy, at least we can take two weeks leave so that we can be together. I know, my angels. I know. I know I've been very busy lately with work and I'm truly sorry. Okay, you know what? Once things settle in the office, I will take my accumulated leave and we will have all the time we need to have fun. Is that okay? Mom, this is what you have been saying for two years. Mom, you said when you become manager, you have time for us. But now it is worse. I know. That is why I implore Mercy to take care of you. We don't want her. I hate her. You hate her? What? Is Mercy not treating you right? She's wicked, mommy. She's wicked. Krista, what is your sister talking about? Is Mercy treating you bad? Mom, mom, Auntie Mercy is okay. It's just that Sid is angry because, because Auntie Mercy is taking your role as a mother. Mom, we want you, not Auntie Mercy. I know. Listen, girls, it is not easy for me to. I know. And that is why I have to work so hard to provide the best for you. What do you want me to do? Cindy? Krista? I hear you. 
That lead to your mother. I will kill you. Aunt Mercy, what is the meaning of that lead? That lead is amiable. Gossiping. Blabbing. Saying anything that's coming out of your mouth. Do you hear me? Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. I will kill you. What of you? What did I say? I will, I will kill, kill you. you. Idiot, shut up. What did I say? Idiot, shut up. I said I will kill you. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. God damn. Okay. You remain here till evening. No food for you. Rubbish. Imbecile. Idiot. That they say shall never end. They brought into this house to look after these innocent kids. But instead of that, you're practicing wickedness with them. Why, why this wickedness for goodness sake? Yes. Huh? Sarah is even better than this one. Mom can't spend some time with us. You should not have told her that Auntie Mercy was okay. If you have told her that she was this weekend, she would have fired her. Yes. I don't want Mom to bring someone worse than Auntie Mercy. Don't forget, this was what happened when I reported Auntie Sarah to her. Auntie Sarah wasn't that weekend. She gave us food. <laughs> and she did not make us do all the house chores. <laughs> I don't want mommy to bring someone worse than I this nasty. <laughs> I can't take this anymore. We are not the housemate. She is. Cindy, stop. Please. Please. You just, you just say. Where are we I'm not watching again. I'm telling mommy. Cindy. 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 Oh. Mbaya Adam. Mbaya Adam. Why are you dragging me like a common criminal? What is wrong with you, Miss? What do you think you're doing? I'm doing my business. Wow. What I'm doing is my business. For goodness sake, why are you this wicked? Why are you wicked? Why? why? Oh. Oh. I, me wicked. Because I asked these two little brats to wash clothes for me. You call me wicked. Eh, hey, what? You. Miss. Miss. Oh. Madam paid you 40000 to look after these kids. But instead of you doing what you're you paid for, you starve them. You make them do all the harsh chores for goodness sake. What's wrong with you? 
How is that your business? I know, I know your problem. Adam, you want me to pamper them, spoil them. Hmm? You want them to, to, to just be useless. Mm -mm. Not under my watch. You don't hear? Not on my watch. Peter Pupu, what is your problem? I want them to be useful. Not to eat, shit, and go to bed. You hear me? If they, have, if, if they have problem with me, they should report me to the ma ma madam. You are not my madam. My madam hire me. Eh? Pika boo boo. Adam, next time you drag me because of this rubbish, I will, 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 God, God, what is wrong with women? For goodness sake, what is required of her is just to look after these kids. To make them comfortable in their mother's home. But no, she wouldn't do that. God, Taylor was not this bad when she was here. Her only problem is that she was selling Madame's food stuff and giving them out. That's all. And also remember that I warned her, but she said no, she was in charge. And here we are again. This one says she's in charge. Women. We men claiming both in another woman's house. God, just save us from their hands. God, I just pity this kid. I wish their mother knew what they are going through in their own house. I wish she knew. Why is she mean to us? Mommy pays her well. And I've not seen mommy shout at her. Even once. People are naturally wicked. Okay. We should just enjoy it till mom comes back. I'm hungry. I can't be it anymore. And who are you calling? I'm calling mommy. Give me that phone. Give me. Give me the phone. You can't call mom. I'll tell her. Please, Cindy, you can't call mommy. I'll call her. Let God meet so that. No. Maybe we give us food. Uh, okay. Oh, up. <laughs> she is very hungry. And I must lock in the kitchen. Mm? Oh God, um, do you have any food? Please, we are hungry. I'm sorry, I don't have. Okay, give me your phone. Okay. No! Uh, oh, come on. Oh, oh, what is wrong with the phone? She didn't want to report Auntie Messi to mom. Then I allow her to do that. What of if we report and message to mom and mom sack at me and looks on who is worse? Chris Abel, at least allow her to report to mom first. No! Why Chris Abel? 
This is what happened when we reported Auntie Sarah to mom. We shouldn't have done it. If we report that message to mom, mom will start at me and bring someone who is worse than her. Who we kill us, or rather, who we poison us. Ha, ah, Christabel. Oh, I'm hungry. I'm dying now. Ah, Uncle Ada, please, do you have any indomie? I'm sorry, Don. Oh, what of money? Because we can buy something. I don't have money, but I think I have a solution. You do? Yes, I do. But you have to promise me you're not going to let mommy know or aunt Missy. Are you sure? Yes. Sure? Yes. Okay, uh, I have this spare key to the kitchen. Then, go get it. Good, wow, wonderful. I'm here for you. Anything you need, okay? I'll get it for you. Is that all you need? Yes. Water, right? Just water. Good. Wow. Wonderful. <laughs> I'm coming right away.
Let's go and sleep now before she comes in. Let's go. Go down. Can I go and put the gate for her? I should open it. Yes. Report you to my dad. You go here around, bagam for your head. Bagam, bagam, bagam. I saw you go here around. Mercy, I, I was sleeping because I was very hungry. All the warmth in my stomach was almost killing me. So, so I had to lie my stomach on the ground so that you at least let me live. Huh? Grammar. Speak grammar well, well. Go to dictionary. Find drama, line them up. Speak and speak and speak for me. Eh? Because when Madame come, Adam you go hear her. Rubbish, imbecile, bad belly. Sleep well. <laughs> Sleep well. Bad belly. <laughs> you shall see nothing. You too, imbecile. Your papa, your mama, everybody imbecile. Mad woman. <laughs> Uncle Adam is very sweet. Uh -huh. Yes. Huh. No, and she makes you can't cook that kind of indomie. Yes. She did that one before she came to me. Wow. Cindy! Christabel! Cindy! Christabel! You were sleeping, and I've been knocking for hours. I was not sleeping, no. And you did hear me knock at the gate. I heard someone knocking, but since Okada was at the gate, I thought maybe it's not our own gate. That imbecile. He was sleeping on duty. He was sleeping. Yes, he was sleeping, and I've been knocking for hours. He stood me at the gate. Sleeping for hours. I want you to tell your mother how he stood me at the gate. Did you hear what I said? Should I also tell her that we have not eaten since morning and it's past three? Cindy, you're finding my trouble. You're finding my trouble, Cindy. Christabel, did you hear what I said? Tell your mother that he stood me for hours at the gate. And to mercy, you know I don't sell things. You do your own telling. If I'm to start tattling to my mom about our domestic staff, like what my sister says, I will start with the fact that you starve us while you throw the food every day. Ha! Mercy! Betty, how dare you? How dare you? I'm just saying my mind though. I'm just saying my mind. Okay. I see that both of you have gained against me. No problem. No problem. We shall see in this house. We shall see. This is good item. I'm going to cook and eat in there. We shall see. Anyway, I'm telling. <laughs> <laughs> telling what? 
We cannot be selling food in our own house. Cindy, we are not selling. Yes, we are. We are thieves. Cindy, stop. You can't tell mom. Why? You remember when you begged me not to tell mom about Auntie Sarah and I refused? Yes. And I'm still regretting. But what she was doing is wrong. Yes, but she never starved us. The mom sucked her away. I employ Auntie Mercy. She never dashed our food out or sell them like Auntie Sarah. But she leave it, let them spoil while we starve. And Auntie Sarah never made us do all the house chores. Yes! I don't want mommy to send Auntie Mercy away then employ someone who is worse. No, nobody will be worse than her. She's heartless and I don't want to fall ill. Cindy! Nobody's falling ill. If Auntie Mercy is not around, I'll be the one cooking for us. Hmm? And don't forget, school will soon resume. No, she's paid to take care of us. Mom has the right to know. She's not doing her work. Cindy, stop! No, Crystal, I'm not listening to you anymore. Cindy! Cindy, come here! What is it again? It is Auntie Mercy. What about her? She stabs us. What? Christabel did not want to tell you the truth, but it's true. She stabs us, Mommy. Cindy, do you know what you're saying? Yes, Mommy. Go and wake Mercy for me. Tell her to come here right away. Yes, Mommy. Yes, ma'am. Mercy, tell me. Cindy said you, said you starved them. What? Yes. And they are the ones doing the chores in this house. That's not true, ma'am. Yeah. You starved us. Uh, yes, ma'am. Sometimes I refuse to give them food, especially her. That's because she eats as many times as possible. And it is not right, ma'am. Uh, and sometimes I insist they do the house choice, especially washing of their clothes and plates. I thought I'm teaching them some values. She's lying, mommy. Mercy. Ma'am. Cindy and Krista are all I have in this house. I know, ma'am. They are the reason why I walk day and night. Yes, I yes. So give them food as many times as they want. Yes, ma'am. Do I make myself clear? Yes, ma'am. But, ma'am. Don't bot me. Don't madam me. Do as I say. Yes, ma'am. You can go. Thank you, ma'am. Mommy, you believed her? Oh, Cindy, I am tired. You believed her against me? I shouldn't have bothered telling you. I should have listened to Christabel. Don't be surprised when we fall ill and the doctor says we are malnourished. Then you believe me. Fine. I will investigate the matter. I told you the truth, mommy. But baby, I believe you. No, you don't. Honey! How fast they grow.
She went very early as usual. Mm. I can't wait for mommy to finally set in a new manager job. Then she will spend more time with us. Cindy, you know that can never happen. How do you mean? Mom say when she's made manager, she will have time for us. But now it's worse. That is because she's still new in the manager thing. Don't worry, she spends her time with us. Well, anyway, you forget it. Have you changed your mind? About what? About selling on Auntie Mercy. Oh, I already did. You did? When? How? How come? Last night, I set the alarm so he could wake me up. And what did she say? Hmm. Mommy asked her. She lied. And mommy believed that instead of me. She did? Yes. Mom said she will investigate the matter. But I know she only said that because she knew I was angry with her. Anyway, forget about it. Let me sweep here so that we'll go outside and continue. Today was fun. Yes, like, seriously. <laughs> oh, my love. Stop. Uh, stop what? Please, wait for me here. I need to talk to my good man. Please hurry up, okay? I'll be here waiting. Uh, oh, please, stop. Make it fast, please. Adam. Yes, Linda. Hmm. What was that with the dinner you ordered for me at the office? Femi ate last night when he came back from work very late. No. And the night before that. Listen, Linda. You work so hard. Okay? And sometimes when you come home here, you forgot to eat. And there's no one in this house to remind you that you've not eaten anything. 
I'm an adult. I yes, know. I know that, Lydia. I know. But what I'm saying is that sometimes we need someone looking out for us. And that is exactly what I'm doing. I am just looking out for you. Okay, so you offer me breakfast before I leave the house, no matter how early. And then you order dinner for me, no matter how late I leave the office. What are you trying to do? At least I did not pay for you. Yeah, at least you had the sense to tell them to collect money from me when they deliver the food. I did not pay for it because I know you will object to it. That's true. Thank you very much. That is sweet of you, you know. You're welcome. So, are you guys back together? Oh, yes. We are back together. And you know what? He asked me to marry him. And I said yes. Well, I see. Mm -hmm. Well, um, congratulations. Thank you. But you don't sound happy for me. No, it's fine. For as long as you're happy with him. Oh, yes, I'm mind. happy. I'm happy. <laughs> That's fine. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Oh, sweetheart. Mm. I'm sorry for keeping you. Shall we ma'am? Yeah, of course. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I know. Hey. Mommy, you're back early. Oh yes, my angel. I'm back early. How are you? Fine, mommy, you came back early. Oh yes, I came back early. I'm so happy. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? I have wonderful news for you. What news? You remember Uncle Kelvin? Yes, Mom. Uncle Kelvin asked me to marry him. And I said yes! <laughs> so he's going to be your daddy. Isn't that wonderful? Are you not happy for me? Of course, we are happy. Happy, congratulations. Give me a hug, give me a hug, thank you. Come, come, give me a hug. You know what? We are going to be one big happy family. <laughs> I'm so excited, I'm so excited. I'm getting married. Cindy, Cindy, why are you crying? This is all my fault. If I did not complain about Auntie Mercy, she wouldn't have brought him. Wait, wait, wait. I don't understand. I thought she said they are no longer together. It is because I complained about Auntie Mercy. Do you think mommy paid him to be our daddy? No. I t maybe he loved her. Yes, he truly loved her. That is why he begged mom for him to marry her. And now they are together. We are supposed to be happy for her. No, he don't love her. All he cares about is the money. No. I think he love her. That's why I asked mom to marry her. Bessie, Bessie. 
I hope it is the truth. Me too. Mercy. Mercy! Yes, ma'am. Yes. Um, you remember Kelvin? Yes, ma'am. Good. He's my fiance now. So you answer to him when I'm not around. Okay? Do I make myself clear? Yes, ma'am. One more thing. I don't want to hear any complaints about you. Okay? Yes, ma'am. And tell Christabel and Cindy to turn off that music. It's too early. Yes, ma'am. Forget what you said about Mercy. Look, watch her closely. I really want to know if what Cindy is saying is true. You don't need to worry yourself, okay? I will take care of things over here. Thank you, my love. Mm. I have to run along now. Okay, baby. Alright, okay. Take care of you. Me that way. Oh, you think I'm not good enough for her? Huh? Anyway, that's a problem. Do whatever I want to do. You'll be nothing but a gate man. Uh, I know your type. You're nothing but a gold digger. <laughs> yes, that's what you are. <laughs> yes, I'm a gold digger. I know so. But a handsome one at that. You, what are you? Eh? You are nothing. And nothing you will be. You are just nothing. Nothing. Oh. I wonder what this guy did to Madame that made her take him back. Mercy, we meet again as you can see. Mercy, mercy. 
Anyway, um, I want to eat pandem yam and uh, salad soup. You got to prepare that for me right now. Yeah. Don't you think you are anything special in this house? In this place, you eat what I give you for here, dearest Kevin. <laughs> you make me laugh. <laughs> mercy, mercy. Mercy, the mercy. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, there's no problem. Uh, let me tell you. I, Kevin, I will eat what I want you, Mercy, to prepare. Get me? Else I'll tell my love that what her daughter is saying about you is true. And I know you wouldn't want that to happen. Hmm? <laughs> mercy, mercy. Take it right away. Mercy, mercy. Prepare me for the German and Sala soup. <laughs> I knew it. I know that those little rats are responsible for this. Ha! Mercy! She now employed that imbecile to be monitoring me. Cindy, I am not happy with you. And when I'm angry, somebody gets hurt. Oh, yeah. Oh, your news. No. Dare not disobey me. Oh, your news. Leave her alone. Leave her. Okay. I said that both of you have gone mad. Mercy. Oh, your news. What is wrong with you and these kids? Let them be. After all, why haven't you gone to the market to get the things you need to prepare the food that I want to eat? Huh? Krista. Cindy, what would you like to eat? Jello fries and plantain. Krista, is that okay by you? <laughs> yes, sir. And what are you still waiting for? Don't think I'm going to prepare jello fries and plantain after preparing nsala soup with pounded yam. Mercy, that is what I expect you to do. After all, the amount that my love can afford it. Now, Cindy, Krista, get inside. Oh, Kevin, thank you. Thank you. Mercy, and where is Adam? I don't know. He ought to be in his duty post. I'm not Adam. Now go and call him for me. I hear. Will you leave this place and call me Adam? I think it is good the way mom brought Uncle Kevin here to take care of us. But why don't I feel happy about it? <laughs> because you are the prophetess of doom, and everybody knows that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay, I think we should just wait and see. Whatever you say, I'm going to our room. <laughs> This boy has triggered me. He came and be spoiling things for me. For here, in my territory. Oh, why? Why, Kelsey? What am I going to do? I will lock him up in one of these unused rooms. And when Madame asked me, I will tell her that he left. Without an explanation. Hmm? Yes. Missy, what are you saying? I will should just kill him. I should just kill him and be done with him. Like why? Huh? He's spoiling things for me. Huh. I kill him. Huh. I will go to jail. I'll be done. With the rest of my life. Ah. Ah. Oh. Missy, think, 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 think. Missy, think. Missy, think. But why your brain think, think? Think.
You have to sit up because your days in this house are numbered. Okay? What is your problem with me? Huh? You're asking me what the problem is. Okay, I will tell you now. I saw the schedules of the twins and I found out you've not been teaching them anything, not even their schoolwork and their homework. Why? Kevin, you saw me working since morning. I've been working and working like Jackie. So? They said you to me. So what? See, you are being paid as a maid in this house and also as their lesson teacher. If you know you cannot do this both job, you say so. Unless someone else be employed to take over this position. Eh? My love pay you 40k every month to do this job. Eh? And you sit and do nothing. It seems I'm going to discuss this with my love. I'm going to discuss it with her. Again? Yes, I'm going to discuss it with her. Can you imagine that imbecile? That just come to my territory, acting as if he's the owner of this house. Can you imagine that? For here, what? And uh, who are we talking about here? Kevin, of course. Or is there any other person acting as if he's the owner of the house? Is there any other person? What? How do you mean? Well, I don't know, because I can only see one standing in front of me here. You mean me? Madam, how dare you? You are a very useless person. Imperitus, Nikompus, useless idiots. I don't blame you. I got that so low to come and, to come and relate with you. I wanted to, uh, 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 to, 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 to operate with you and I see that you don't have any operating blood in your vein. Nothing. I'm brought you up but you are brought yourself down. Idiot. Anyway, I don't have your time. I will come and meet you at the, at the appropriate time. Idiot. Look at him. I'm bringing you up. You are brought yourself down. Monkey. <laughs> Oh, oh my God! Oh, okay. Oh, you're not happy the way Kevin is treating you, right? But you've been maltreating me, Adam, here in this house. This is just the beginning. Exhaust. Imagine, imagine. 
Imagine, you want to come and start extending view with me. Me? It's not like him. You've not seen anything. In this house, you've not seen anything. <laughs> they said there's no peace for the weekend. You will never see peace in this house. Hey, sweetie. Hey, darling. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, thank you. How's your day? Oh, fine. Just waiting for you. I know. So, where are my kids? Upstairs. Upstairs. Oh. Hey, hey, my angel. My oh. angel, how are they? Fine, Mom. Hmm. I hope Uncle Kelvin took good care of you. Yes, Mommy. He's the best. Really? Wow. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, well, why I am home early is because I will be traveling to Abuja first thing tomorrow. What? Yes. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Some emergency came up at the office. I, in one of our branches in Abuja, I was instructed to go there and help them sort it out. Huh. So, how long will you be staying? Um, hopefully, three to four days. Honey. Sweetheart, I know. I know you have to go. We just got engaged. I was hoping we spend some time together. Sweetheart, I know. But I have to go. It's a job. But, Mommy. Why tomorrow? Tomorrow is Saturday. And you know banks don't open on Saturday. I know that, my love. But you see, the manager wants us to meet over there by 1 p.m. tomorrow. That's why I have to go. <sighs> Mommy, please don't go. I know, baby. But see, Uncle Kelvin is here. He will take good care of you, okay? Yeah. I swear I will take care of them as if they are my own daughters. I know you will. I know you will. So, are we good? Crystal? Fine, Mom. Are you sure? Yes. Cindy? Yes. Okay. In that case, I will just go upstairs. I will change into something simple. Then we all go out and get some ice cream. How about that? Okay. Yes, Mom. I'll be traveling to Abuja first thing tomorrow morning. Yeah. So I want you to take good care of Kelvin and my daughters. Look here. I don't want to hear any report about you. Yes, ma'am. Is that clear? Yes, ma my love, you don't need to worry yourself. Mm -hmm. I'll keep an eye on her. I'm sure she wouldn't want to lose her job. Thank you, honey. I know you will. You can go. So, my love. You have. Hope you're not gonna spend much time this time around. Oh no no no! I won't. Oh look, please take care of my daughters. Mm -hmm. I will there. Watch out for Messi for me. I must do that. Okay. My sweetheart, I will miss you. I will miss you too. I'm missing you already. Oh, you know I'll be back before you know it. <laughs> I say love.
without mercy. Mercy. What? You didn't iron my clothes. Huh? Ready to say something? I didn't think so. I want this clothes iron as soon as possible. Okay? Cindy, you have to go to your room now. I have to take care of assignment, okay? But Uncle, you say you play with us here. Yeah, our mom come back. Yes, I said so. But you have to go right now. We'll continue this later in the day, okay? Mm. Mm. Oh, is it because we are winning? Mm, it doesn't matter. Just go to your room right now. Go, girls. Ah. Please tell Cindy. See you upstairs, okay? I okay, will finish my business assignment. Me too. Mercy. What are you trying to do? It's your fault, eh? You're just killing me. I'm gonna take you to your room right now. And I don't want you to say no. I will say no. Cindy and Christopher, what are you doing here? Have you finished doing everything I asked you to do? Yes. You finished washing of the plates, yes. scrubbing the ground, mm. everything. Yes. Can't 
to talk? Yes. yes. Good children. Now you go outside from the beginning of this compound to the end after Ruby's gates. You scrub everything sparkling clean. Everything sparkling clean. What did I say? Scrub everywhere sparkling clean. Oh, mercy. But we just finished sweeping the house, washing the old plates, scrubbing the floor. And now you're telling us to scrub the compound and wash the clothes? Are you not a woman? You should go out there and even wash the heap of clothes that I kept. Are you challenging my authority in this house? Eh? You will not do it. You will not do it. You will not do it. Quickly start. You must do it. you in madame's bed. Hmm? Enjoyment galon, whether they like it or not. Kevo, kill me today. No kill me that. Kevo, you don't kill me that. But why did he join her? I don't know. I'm telling mommy when she returns. She just carry one more bucket to wash all these clothes here. Yeah. Me, I'm not washing anything, no. Okay, then let's use the washing machine. You know, Auntie Messi never allows us to use the machine. Let's just try. Maybe Uncle Kelvin will force Auntie Messi for us to use it. You think so? Let's watch and see. Okay. first before she comes out yes How was it today? Fine. So what did you study today? We study math, math English, English, education, and... Uh, um, 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 that's enough, okay? So you study still. Uh, it's okay. What you need to do now is just go in and uh, take off your school uniform and take your bag and look for all things, okay? Okay. I'll see you guys later. Okay. Be careful. Oh, happy kids. 
You give me double mercy. Mercy. I want to see that trouble today. I want to see that trouble. I want to see that trouble. Mercy, now give me that trouble. Mercy, you, you don't even have my chance. You're just big, very lazy. Mind yourself from here. Christopher, how are you? I'm fine. Uncle Adam, you are hungry. You're hungry? Have you not eaten? No. Have you told Uncle Kevin? Yes. Uncle Kevin, you always support what Auntie Messi says. Yes. Are you serious? Yes. Do you know that yesterday, the, both of them were playing around the parlor, playing like small children. Who will add up playing such a childish game? Uh, that's because of... Uh... Uncle... Uncle Adam, do you have anything you need? I'm hungry. God, what does she know about adult hide and seek game? Lydia must do something about this idiot in her house. Uncle Adam. Uh, no, Cindy. Uh, yes, I I have some biscuits. You do? Yes. Then go get yes. it. I and I also have some in our. I don't want to do anything. Yes, yes. Fast, fast. You just calm down. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I want. I want. I want. Hey, 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 what's going on here? It's okay. I'm here. Okay, here we are. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm I'll help you. Hiya, yeah, this for you. I'll just manage it for now, okay? Show you how it is. Okay? Mm. Oh, do you like it? I'm <laughs> happy you like it. Step. I want to show you. 
ko jaga jaga. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What is jaga jaga done? I can't wait. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> this is ghost done. I told you he's going in, you know. I found them! I found them! He's not responding, and I can't see you. Uh -huh. Cindy, you must go to that room, really, okay? Why? At least, not right away. We must wait and see how old Kevin will behave when mom returns. But he will pretend as if everything is all right. Let's wait, okay? I don't want mom to worry for nothing. Okay. Okay, now let's go and eat. I feel tired. It was hectic. Oh. 
when will you take out time from work to rest? I will if you stop lecturing me and let me go inside my house. <laughs> Let's not deceive ourselves. You and I know that you don't rest in there. You don't. Okay. I will. I promise. No. You know what I think? Oh. I think you need a keeper. Yes, you do. I have a keeper. Oh. So you and Kelvin still don't see eye to eye. And I don't think we'll ever. And I don't think that will ever happen. Oh, here comes your angel. Hey, my angel. My baby. Well, you're welcome. Thank you. My angel. Oh, Mom, we miss missed you. you. I missed you, oh, girls. Yeah. How was your day? Hope you've been nice. Yeah. You've been good to Auntie Mexi. Yeah. Hello, honey. Sweetheart. You're back. You're welcome. Oh, oh, thank wow. you. You're looking beautiful. Thank you. I miss you. Miss you, honey. Miss How you so day? much. Just missing you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey. I don't like him. Oh, I don't either. But don't let your mom hear this, okay? So she won't start worrying, okay? I will tell her, we promise. Cindy. Okay. Okay, just go in, okay? Everything will be fine. I promise you. Alright? Honey, this your traveling is becoming too much. Don't tell me you're traveling again. <laughs> no, I'm not traveling again. As a matter of fact, um, the problem at the branch office has been fixed. Hooray! Mm. Mm. Mom, that's good. I really miss you. <laughs> yes, we did. Didn't we?
Oh, where are you going to uh, dress up like this? I want to put it in out. Oh. What? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, are you ashamed of me? No. Ah. Uh, so that I don't want people to see us and tell Lydia. See, Lydia has no friends. She does not have a social life. None of her colleagues know us. They don't know you. They don't know me. Let's go out so that you have fun. Or do you want to be caged here like this? The only reason she brought me in here is to look after those rats. Or don't you want to have a life? Go out. Have fun. Enjoy your life. You're right. You're right. You're right. Come on! I know you will disappoint me. Let me go in and change up and let's go. Uh -huh. mm. <laughs> I'll be right back, okay? Don't mind them, Kelvin. Mm. Let's go. It's enjoyment. Galore. Galore. Hold on, let me get the food, okay? Come in. Okay. No cheating, no. No cheating! Okay. You are a problem. Okay. Morris Obi Enterprise. This client wants to invest 50 million. And I've been trying to convince him. Just one document for him to sign, then we have the deal. <sighs> you mean 50 million? Yes, ma'am. Wow. And are you trying to say you don't know how to convince him to get this money invested into your bank? I'm trying. And do you know you can use this money for business and still later return it back to the bank account once transferred by this man? Mm -hmm. 
I see you. What is it? Ma'am, um, I came to check if there is anything else I'll do for you before going to bed. No, Messi. She don't need anything for now. Even if she does, I'll get it for her. Yes, hmm? Messi. You will. I don't need anything, okay? I'm fine. Fine. You can go. Yes, ma'am. What a maid. <laughs> Leave Messi. She's only doing her job. Hmm, I see. Alright. So oh, sweetheart. Enough of all this work now. Let's go upstairs. Upstairs. Right. We'll get some rest now. Okay. Bye, baby. Oh, my God. Bye, baby. Mommy, why do you hate us so much? What? Cindy, how can you say that? First, you brought Auntie Mercy. She's evil. I told you, but you don't believe me. But Uncle Kevin said she's okay. That is because he likes her. Cindy, how do you mean? Mommy, they play together. Cindy, what are you saying? It is what I saw with my own eyes. They play all the time. Believe me or not, I'm saying the truth. I believe you, my dear. I believe you. Nothing. Cindy. Cindy, what happened? Well, Christabel, I, I, I told mom that... Hi, babe. I'm sorry. Stop I'm... right there! Don't you touch me. Kelvin, I want you to go inside, get your things and leave my house this minute. What? You heard me. What's going on? Darling. What's wrong? What is wrong is you messing around with my maid! Kelvin! Where did you get such ridiculous ideas from? I told her what I saw. What you saw? Yes. I don't understand, Lydia. What did Cindy say she saw? I mean... She promised to get me into trouble for disciplining her. I never took her serious. I thought she was only being her age. Besides, what could she have said to you that would get me into trouble? See, Lydia, I don't have a problem living, okay? But I need an explanation. She said she saw I saw you and Auntie Mercy playing together all the time. What? Am I a kid to be playing around? But you and Mommy play all the time. Yes. That is because I love her. I love her. Cindy, you want me to apologize for disciplining you? 
I cannot do that. I cannot. I love you. Eh, I thought I could be your dad. See, every good dad discipline his little ones for going wrong. But I guess you don't want such kind of dad. Lydia, I thought when you asked me to be their father, you gave me rights to correct them when they are wrong. But I got it all wrong. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I love you. And I love your daughters too. I'm sorry. I think I just have to go upstairs and pick up my things and get out of here. Cindy. Mom, I don't understand anything he's talking about. I told you to shut, shut up! What is wrong with the both of you? I won't have it in this house! Mom is lying! I said shut up! That's enough! That is not. I don't want to hear it! I won't have it in this house! What is wrong with the both of you? Mom is lying! Shut up! Christy, why is she mad at me? I'm lying. I, I'm telling her the truth. I know. Just leave it. He's a big liar. Lydia. Yes, baby. The kids. Oh, true. Cindy. Christabel. Cindy. Girls, come here. Come? Yeah. My angels, listen, I know you miss your daddy so much. And that is why I have been trying to work too hard to give you the attention you need. Look, I love Kelvin and I want to marry him. You might not like that, but he loves you. But mommy, no but, Cindy. Listen. I don't like the extent you girls are going just to get my attention. That has to stop now. And you, Christabel, both of you better behave. Yes, mommy. Cindy. Yes, mommy. My bag. My bag. Let me get my bag. Oh. My handbag. Get me my handbag. Baby, you need to make it fast. I think you left it on the dining room. Shut your hands. Please stop looking at me. Close it. You close it. Close it. I warned you not to say anything to me. You didn't listen. Look at it now. She thinks you're a liar, and they are liars. Why? Why? See your lights? See, we have been nice to you girls. 
You have been nice. But from this moment, not anymore. No mercy. Right from now, you will eat a few minutes before your mom returns. Eh. Brother Moses! Eh. Raise your hand! That's Kata, you are you already shed your tears. You've not seen anything. Else. And if you're not good, eh. you will eat nothing. Eh. Did I make myself yes, 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 sir. Raise your hand, raise your hand very well. Yes, sir. And if I should remind you of any house choice, Sorry. Do you understand me? Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma Do you understand? Yes. Yes. Such a hand, such a hand, such a hand. Very well. Yes. Very well. Now get out of my sight. Blue, get away from here. Why did you dismiss them so soon? Idiot. You should have allowed them to stay. That will spoil our mood now. Hey. Huh? Cool. Wow. Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> Let me all do this. They think they are smart. They think we don't know. Ooh, wow, Investors. Cool. Wow. Wonderful. Me too. We are wonderful. Cindy, Cindy. Cindy. We have to run away. We can't start running without a destination, Cindy. But we can't stay here either. Okay, I think we need to plan this. Hey, 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 hey. 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 What is going on? Uncle Adam, we want to run away. Do you have any place we can run to? You want to run away? Okay, fine. Fine, come. We can talk about it, okay? Please. We can talk about it. Come on. You can run away. You can not go to that point. Okay? Come on. I have a plan. What plan? I think it's time to fight back. Fight back? Yes. How? Look, first, we have to gather all the spear in this house. Then, we now play pranks on them. Pranks? Yes. What kind of prank? Look, your kids. And I'm sure you know kids love playing pranks on adults. So both of you should put your ideas together and come up with something good, okay? Hmm, I think I like it. Of course. They should be the ones to be scared of you, not the both of you in your house. I think we have some spare key. Cindy, let's go get the many moves. Every of the key in this house gets everything for me. Let's I love go. you, Uncle Adam. I let's go, there. Cindy, fast! Lydia, I could break your neck for this. Imagine, can you imagine these kids?
Then, where is your sister? She's sleeping. Sleeping? Yes. So, is it must be Adam that stole my something out of this spot. Uncle Adam? Yes! Or is it you? No! But Uncle Adam, I should. Adam! Mumbai Adam! 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 You will play with your blood. I will cut your own meat out of your flesh. Idiot. <laughs> Again, messy. Adam, 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 you're not going anywhere. Else. You're not going anywhere without oh, giving me where you step what I saw from the market. What is wrong with you? Tifu, on your sheet, Tif, 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 Ole! Messy, you've gone mad. Start waving mad. Messy, wait, let me go. Wait, let me go, Messy. Let me go, Messy. You're not going anywhere. Let me go, Messy. You're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. You must keep me what you stole from what I bought from the market. For here. What's wrong with you, Messy? Let me be! Let Please. me be! Chief, Chief! What have I done? Only! Okay, but no problem. Adam, you can go. But let me warn you. Hmm? You can eat it. Because there will not be any food for you for this house, Pa. No more food for you. Look at you. Go, 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 go. No more food for you in this house. Acting as if the house is yours. Mm -hmm. Is it your house? Yes. Stupid woman. Adam. Adam, why? Adam, why? You are trying me for this place. You are trying me, me, Messi. Eh? No, you are daring the tale of a running lion. You are trying me or... Shut, 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 shut up. You, lion. Imagine. Better get out of my sight. Thief. Fool. Only. Stupid thief, woman. Thief, thief. So. Thief, thief. Thief, thief. Only. Thief. Only. Carry on. Go. That's what you are. Thief, thief. Messi. What's going on? This thief. He stole half of what I bought from the market. Huh? Look at why I found for this place. Mercy. Just let him be. Let him go. Huh? He is, it's like, he, he is not, it's like he don't know what I'm capable of doing for this place. Huh? Anyway, he has forgotten that I am messless messy. No problem. Just warn him. Warn him all for this place. No problem. Mr. Madoria. What? Food is ready. As you may see, we need more eggs. Don't worry, I'll bring in my own. As you may see, do my journey us. <laughs> Don't worry, my own is coming. Don't worry.
this here. Aren't you eating? Oh, oh, what what eating? eating? Food is ready. As you may see, we will not eat. Don't worry, I'll bring in my own. As you may see, do my journey us. <laughs> Don't worry, my own is coming. Don't worry.
Yes, uh, they went out. Eh? Uh, they went to visit Drea and her sibling. Adam, what did they tell that they're going anywhere? Oh, they told me and I called her Vera's mother and she confirmed it. What? Yes. Adam, they left without my permission. Mercy, what permission are you talking about? The last time I checked, you are either their mother or donor of this house. And their mother has not forbidden them from leaving this house. So what permission are you talking about? Huh? Hi! Hey, Adam! Adam! You are looking for my trouble! Oh. You are looking for my trouble for this place, in this place! Adam! Hmm. <laughs> permission, permission indeed. Imagine you. They will take permission from me before going out. It's all. Are you blind? Ah. Didn't you see those clothes suck down here? Then you don't wash their clothes and you allow them to leave. Oh. Hey, Adamu! Listen, listen to me. Whatever I do with those kids is your business. And whatever I do with them is my business. So carry this your madness and go inside and leave me alone. What, what is wrong with you? So you should not try to. Uh, Adamu! 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 Don't, don't, don't touch me again, though. No. Don't try this again, though. No. What are we doing with this madness woman? Oh, permission. You need, you, need, you need permission, right? What do you think is going on? I mean, yesterday, they refused to do what you asked them to do. They were running around daring you to catch them. That you have to do all the choice all by yourself. Today again, they left without doing any choice. before it's too late. They're playing game with me. I, Messless Messi, I am the master of game. Back. <laughs> ah, 
I'm glad that I'm good evening. Good evening, my dear. And um, how was your day? I'm glad that we had fun. And? Adam, do you believe that we did not eat anything and we told them nothing? Good. Well, now remember, no more reporting to anyone. Let Antibesi and Kevin be the one reporting, okay? Okay. Okay? Okay. But Uncle Adam, mm -hmm. if they report to mommy, mommy will be mad at us. No, mommy will not be mad at you. It is normal for children to report adults. But when an adult reports a child, the person he or she reported to will know there is something wrong, okay? Okay. I try to say that if Auntie Mercy reports us to mommy, mm -hmm. mommy will think something is wrong. Exactly. And she will pay more attention. Okay? Good. Now listen to me. You're going to remain here with me until she comes begging before you go in. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Cindy, let's go get that chair. Let's go. How was the day, Nadia? Tiring. Nadia, you need to take a break. I know. I know. And your body needs massage. What? You heard me, Nadia. Nadia, you're tired and tense. What your body needs now is a thorough massage. So you can sleep like a baby. Huh. I'm sure you know you need it. I would have offered to do that, but I know your boyfriend would object. Mm. I don't know you are a master. Your... Well, um, I'm a lot of things you know as well. Adam, I don't like your tone. And how is my tone? As if, as if you, 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 I you want you. Yes. Of course I do. You're a beautiful woman, Lydia. And there's no right thinking man that will not want to have you. I'm engaged. Thank you, you're not married. And I thought you are engaged, you should learn how to take care of you. Listen, Lydia, if, if you're my woman, I, I will not let you walk yourself to death. Really? Look, I can take care of myself. I don't need a man to take care of me, okay? Oh, you don't. Are you sure you don't need a man to take care of you, baby? <laughs> Is that what you're saying to me? You can take care of Adam. Adam, please. Adam, please what? Adam, please don't kiss me. I've been dying to do this ever since I set my eyes on you. But the reality far surpasses the fantasy. Fantasy? Adam, you mean you fantasized about me? Yes, Lydia. I have a lot of fantasies about you. Um, um, I know I'm crossing the boundary here, but I am not sorry at all. Lydia, I think 
you need to go in now. Okay. Let me get your bag. Thank you. Thank you. Let me see. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. What? It's what soup? It is it. And Messi, you mean you made soup? And and we are hungry. Mercy, can this pot contain a bucket of water? Then what is the point?
even around in the wedding. Like that one. And that's exactly what they are. Uncle Adam, you are strong. Girl. Hmm. I like it. I like it. But I think it's time. Time for what? No more hide and seek in this house. Hide and seek? Is that what we have been doing? Yes. But I think it's time for open battle. Open battle? How? See, what I'm trying to say is this. If you want to pour water in her soup, huh? Do that way, she will see you. Pour it and run away. Ha! She will kill me. That is if she catches you. Cindy, don't tell me you cannot outrun her. Mm -hmm. Uncle Adam, maybe in this way, they will report us to mommy. And mommy will take something as wrong as Exactly, she exactly. So, are we ready to take this battle to an open field? Yes! Nice one! Give it to me. Yes. Let me see if they are going to win us in this house. All of us! We are going to fight them once they run away from this house. What was that for? Why were you running away from a man? Man? You call that a man? My own gate man? Mercy! How do you expect me to stoop so low? To put up a fight with my own gate man? There are ways of dealing with people like Adams. There are ways of dealing with them. Then, fire him once and for all! Messi, now you are talking. Now you are talking. But don't worry. Calm down. I will take care of him. As for Adam, I will take care of him. But Messi. The soup. I'm hungry. Don't worry. I'll pay you some days. <laughs> you are the best, Messi. You are the best. That's less Messi. Messi, Messi! I know! Messi, Messi! Ah. Messi, I'm right behind you, Messi! Cindy, take it easy. Don't go out for bathroom. I don't know about food. We have to eat this at our mother's house. You know, Auntie Messi to give us small food and we have not eaten since morning. So, we need to eat. I don't want to eat. Don't be around here, so I'm not even going to eat. Hey, hey! What is happening here? Cindy and Christabel. What are you doing? Eating. How did you get into this place? With our key. What? You have a key that I don't know in this house. With our own key. How do you think we get into this house when no one is around? And it's only a gate man, Uncle Adam, that is around. Ha! Okay. What are you eating? Food. I know. Then how did, how did you, you ask? How did you get the food? I made it. I can cook, you know. Kiri Kiri Star! You mean you walk into my kitchen? It is not your kitchen. It is our mother's kitchen. Mm -hmm. Her gas cooker, her food stuff, her pots, her everything. How dare you? Tapriata, how dare you? How dare we, Aunt Mercy? I'm not afraid of you. I'm only respecting you, which I said before. You don't deserve it. Let's get inside of you and eat our food, please. Yes, let's go. Hey! 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 Somebody slap me for here. Somebody, please come and slap me and let me wake up. Hey!
Cindy and Crystal. You didn't even bother to welcome me. You are still on this game. Cindy, Krista, now go and read your books. Go and read your books. By the way, where is Mercy? Mercy! moment if I tell Lydia Lydia will call these kids and talk to them and they might tell her all that's been going on in this house think mm. but the last time they told her she didn't believe them yes she did not but she might this time she might this time Abago, even if she doesn't it will sow a seed of doubt in her mind. And remember, Krista didn't say anything before. If you report this kid, things might change. Obago. Merci. Obago. So what do you suggest we should do? Makano Obago, dear! Obago. Oh. I think, yeah, I think we should play the game with them and let's see who gets tired first. 
<laughs> in the shower. <laughs> in us together. You don't need to worry yourself, man. <laughs> yeah, just listen, kid. Just be along with them. In the shower, Kelly. Messi, let me get something outside, please. In our dear. Messi! In our dear, in us together. Where is this, uh, Adam? Thank you. Your boyfriend. <laughs> TV in your room. It is not working. <laughs> I guess there's no TV for you this night. <laughs> TV is about to start. Really? <laughs> Are you sure she's not the one that removed the battery in the room? So I don't want, I just want to watch the Naruto. See, they stop acting like a baby. We will get her back. Yes, it is game on. <laughs> Let yourself watch the Naruto. Oh, you need it. I need rest. Listen, Lydia. I'm a professional masseur and your domestic staff. All you need is just order me to massage your body. You can sleep like a baby. Adam. I will be purely professional. Please. Okay, fine. Try back. No. Just take your body inside. Thank you.
Sing that, Chris Abel. You sleep in your mommy's room. Can we? Yes, of course you can. So where will I sleep? Not my business. You can sleep anywhere you choose to sleep, but not anywhere close to the children's room. I will sleep where I choose to you sleep. You will not! Who do you think you are? Listen and listen carefully. You might be her boyfriend. See us! Oh, whatever I choose to call yourself, I don't give a damn. Okay? You have to stay away from her until she works on her own. But if you don't, may God help you. Because I will give you the trash that has been coming. Chris Abel, Cindy, if he wakes your mom, quickly call me. Yes, sir. Let's go. Champion. My room is free. Ah! Let me change to my night way. I'm waiting. something to eat. I am very hungry. I'll just go inside, freshen up and come out. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Tell them. No. Uh, I like to watch TV with the both of you. That is why I haven't told you. <laughs> I don't want you guys locked up in your room. Hmm? I love you, kids. I love you. Oh. Mm. Thank you, Uncle Calvin. Mm. Kevin, what is it? Oh, she's tickling me, and she knows how ticklish I am. <laughs> Cindy, stop tickling him. I will stop only if he lets go of me. Uh -huh. 
Kevin, are you okay? Of course, I'm fine. I'm okay. <laughs> cool. Mom. Yeah. Do you know that Uncle Kelvin is the best? Oh. <laughs> they are the sweetest angel. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> wow, I can see you and my daughters now love each other so much. I'm impressed. This is really nice. Good job, Kelvin. Thank you for what you did yesterday. I knew exactly what I needed. Well, really? Uh, then thank me properly. <laughs> properly. Adam, my kids. Look, you need to stop doing this, okay? Do you mean to tell me that you prefer him to me? Adam, what do you want? You and Lydia. Lydia, allow me to take her out for a lunch tomorrow. I, I, I want to make love to you. Look, I'm engaged, okay? Lydia, forget him. I know you don't love him. And he doesn't love him either. Lydia, I, I love you so much. I love you. Ada! That should not be a secret to you. Why do you think I care so much? Why do you think I notice everything that happens? Lydia, I, I, I care so much about you. I love you. I want to pamper you and take care of you. Look, I can't take care of my I No. I, I, I just want any which way we can be together. I want you, Lydia. See, I, I, I don't know what to say. Ah, I know you are attracted to me. And I also know that you love me so very much. You like me so much. That's why you're able to tolerate my excesses in this house. Well, as a matter of fact, I like you. I like you a lot. But you see... Then, tell me you think about it. Tell me you think about me. Tell me you think about us. The possibility of us being together as one. Well. I don't know. Just tell me you think about it. I love you and I do. I mean it. God, what is wrong with me? Why do I feel so happy knowing he loves me? Why do I so much want to say it back to him? Do I love him? How can I when I am engaged to care of him? Oh, God. Lydia. Lydia. Oh, uh, yes. I. I'll think about it. Thank you. Alright, I'll um, take care of yourself. By the way, where is Mercy? Oh, she told me she was going to get something outside the gate. Okay, um, just go. Go back to your duty first, okay? Okay. Okay, look, well, I am tired of doing all these house choice in this house. I'm tired. Eh? You, you just balance for here, doing nothing. Balance like a wheelbarrow watching TV. You promised to talk to Lydia to fire that boy Adam, but nothing. You promised to tell Lydia 
to talk to this, to talk her, talk to her devilish children. But you did nothing. You just balanced like ice water. Eh? But why? Kevo. Kevo. Mercy. I'm doing something. Hmm? Kevo, you're not doing anything. What are you doing? I know your problem. Your problem is because you're not the one doing all the work for here. I'm the one doing the work. Mercy, I'm thinking. It seems their rebellion is working to our own advantage. Lydia thinks her daughters and I is getting along, as in loving each other. I think I will move the wedding forward. No more waiting. Okay. So she dies. Tell it all the property, including the children. No, 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 no. No. We still the party. We need the children to do all the boy boy work, to do everything we need. All the housework for this place. You are right. Man, man. You are just too smart. That's me. Messless. Messy. That's me. Messless. Messy. Ah, you know, together. Mess. In the question. Anything you want, my love. <laughs> Just go by it. Yeah, check the book. Ciao! Don't look again for the end. Yeah, man. him. That is the reason she agreed to marry him. Now, listen to me, Chris Ariel. None of this is your fault or your sister's fault. Okay? Your mommy, your mom is already engaged to Uncle Kevin. That means she agreed to marry him. But it's not your mommy's fault either. Okay? All this whole thing is happening because Aunt Missy and Uncle Kevin are evil. It's their fault. So, what are we going to do? Krista, you're going to do nothing. I'll take care of everything myself. But, but... No but, Krista. Come on, I'm sure you know I love you and your sister. We love you too. Um, I, I love your mom more. You do? Yes, I do. What I'm saying is that I will never let anything happen to her. No one will hurt her, okay? Promise. I promise. Cross your heart. I promise and cross my heart. Okay? No one will hurt her. Okay. Okay. Now, okay. wipe off the tears. Okay? Now you go in and then no one. Not even Cindy. Not even Cindy. This is between you and I. Okay? Okay. Alright? That's okay. good. You'll be fine, okay? Adam, Adam, how are you going to handle this?
Welcome. Oh, thank you. Um, how was your day? Fine. Okay, um, I'm sorry, um, have you thought about what I told you? I'm still thinking about it, Adam. Uh, what seems to be the problem? Is it that you can't see yourself dating your git man? Adam. Okay, 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 fine. I I I won't be your git man. I, I'll be your boyfriend. I'll be the man that loves you. I'll be the man who's willing to do anything for you. Including laying his life. Yes. Adams. I am not bothered about your status. I'm only confused. I'm confused about this whole thing. Because of Kerry. Because he doesn't make you tremble. Do I make you feel when you're with me? And I'm stop. God. You drive me crazy. <laughs> you deserve it, you know. Look, I can't concentrate at work anymore. Why are you doing this? So, um, do you like my choice of dinner for you? I love it. Oh. <laughs> you seem to know, you seem to know what I like. And how did you acquire such knowledge about me? Well, that's my little secret. Anyway, I'm, I'm glad you like it. <laughs> I do. Mm. Adam. You're spoiling me. Oh, come on, baby. You, you deserve that. You deserve it. Okay? Okay. Okay, good night. All right. And um, dream about me. <laughs> Adam, see you later. Okay.
Uncle, Uncle, can you believe that Auntie Mercy and Uncle Kelvin, they refuse to report us to our mommy? Uh. Are you serious? Oh, I, I didn't know that these guys are smart as this. So what are you going to do now? Krista, Cindy, don't tell me you guys are already tired. The battle is just beginning. We need to intensify the battle, okay? How? You need to play those pranks they can never ignore. We need to force their hands. Hmm. Yes. Okay, yes. Crystal. Come, let's go make another plan. Come on, let's nice go. One. This way, again. And where is Adam? He's at the gate. Okay. Girls, I observe you now got along with Uncle Kelvin. So we have decided to fix a date for the wedding for a month now. No! What? We don't like him. We hate him. He's evil. What? You said you love him. I heard you. That is because we're only playing pranks with him. Pranks? Yes. <sighs> Mommy, I was biting him and he was screaming. But he told you that I was tickling him. He kisses Auntie Mercy all the time. And they punish us. And they also make us do all the house chores. They starve us. And they sleep in your room. Cindy, stop! What is wrong with you? You said you love me. You see? You lied. You lied. Is it because you want your mom and your dad to come back together? Cindy, my love. Sweetheart, your father and I will never be family again. I thought you've gotten over it. Mommy, we hate him. He's evil. Mom will know that, Mom. But Cindy's telling you the truth. Mom, he's lying. He's wicked and he's evil, Mom. Stop it, the both of you. Crystal, I know you hate the idea of me marrying another man. But this is reality, girls. Mom, Mom, you can marry or go out down. Mom, Mom, he's nice. He loves us. Uncle Kevin loves you too. No, he doesn't. What is all this about marrying Adam? Or did he put it up to you? Crystal, did he? No, he did not. Mom, why can't you believe us? Why can't you believe your own daughters? You can't believe us! Yes, yeah, sweetheart, that is not true. Oh. No, you don't. You believe everybody but us. We don't want him. How can you say that? Cindy! Cindy! Come back here! Let her go, Ronnie. Mom! She'll be fine. Congratulations, Mom. Mom, congratulations! Congratulations, Mom! Congratulations! Krista! Sweetheart, Krista! Oh, God. Oh, my God. I thought they must have got, gotten over losing their dad. My love, you don't need to work yourself up this, okay? Hmm? Everything will be fine. I think we're running late. Yes. Shall we now? Yes, please. Cindy and Christabel, I heard your mom shouting at you. What happened? Is everything okay? Why can't she believe us? I hate her. Hey, Siri, don't say that. It is true. It is oh, not. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's okay, Cindy and Christabel. Okay? Just calm down. Everything will be fine. Huh? Can you believe that our mom say she will marry Uncle Kelvin in a month's time? What? She said so? Yes. We told her everything, but she did not believe us. Uncle Adam, why? We have never lied to her before. We've never! I know, I know. Just calm down, okay? Um, 
Calm down. I, I promise you, everything will be fine, alright? Just calm down. Okay, let's go to my hotel. Wait, let me know. I know you don't want me to marry another man. But you see, your father and I, we can never be together again. Why don't you understand that? Bob, I do. But if Uncle Calvin would not want you to marry. But why? Bob, because he's evil. Bob is evil. So you want me to marry Uncle Adam? Yes. But why? Because he's kind. He loves us. And he also loves you too, Mom. Mom, he loves you. So he told you Kevin is evil? Uh, no, because that is because he's evil. He's very evil. And, and I'm not sure he's even as mercy that God for your death. <laughs> Cindy, what are you talking about, honey? Trying to kill me. I see Messi and Uncle Kelpie. They're planning to kill you. Okay, calm down. <laughs> Relax. See, nothing is going to. But did Adam. Did he say anything? No, Mom. He told me I should not tell you, but I will listen to him. I have to tell you, Mom. I, I don't want to die. Listen, sweetheart. Nothing is going to happen to me, okay? <laughs> yes, well. Christabel, Ma? nobody's going to hurt me. I won't let them. Okay, okay. So, I know how you feel. Stop crying. I want you to go to your room. I'll come and talk to you girls later, okay? Okay, Ma. Stop crying. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay, I know how you feel. Okay, I love you, Mom. I love you too, baby. It's okay, go to your room, okay? Yes, Mom. <laughs> Krista told me she wants me to marry you instead of Kelvin. So what nonsense are you talking about? And was that before they told you what your boyfriend does in your absence or after? You do have guts, you know. For you to convince my kids. Just for me to give you a chance. Adam, that is so low. That is so low. Who oh, oh. Is that what you really think? You think your daughter's IQ is so low that you don't know when someone is bullying them? You also think that I, Adam, cannot get a woman of my choice? That I will have to stoop to manipulating her kids to get to her? Wait, is that really what you think I am? Oh, wow! Bravo! You, you, you do have guts. I mean, bothering me up. But you know what? You made the wrong move when you decided to go after my kids. Fed them with lies and you fed them. What was that? 
to find out that your kids are okay. Or have you done to know why? That have you bothered to know why? Because you told them Kelvin is trying to kill me. Oh, Christopher told you. Then why are we having this discussion? Instead of you going after those bastards, kicking them out of this house. No, but you stand there to accuse me of what I know nothing about. What? Oh, I'm sure that will make you happy, no, mister. No, I want the both of them locked up. But before then, I need them out of this house. Really? Yes. Oh, I see you have it all planned out. Mr. Ada, you sure have got. You know, I want you to go in there, get your things, and get the hell out of my house. What? You heard me, Ada. Ada, get out. You're fired. Are you all right? I am fired. Why? You asked me why? Yes! Huh. He asked me why I fired him! You know what? I don't care. Listen, get your things and get the hell out of my house! But that is not possible. You can't possibly ask me to leave this house. You, you, you can't make me leave. No, you can't. You say what? Who the hell do you think you are? I can't make you leave? You think you are in charge? Because I let you kiss me? That tiny little kiss? No. No, Lydia. I did more than kissing you. I did more than kissing you, Lydia. Yes. You did what? I did more than kissing you. Oh, okay. Look, because I wanted to see how far you would go with this crazy ambition of yours. I am a good woman. I was only looking for a nice way to let you down easily. Okay? But listen up. I run a bank. And I don't do that by being nice. Wait a minute. Ada. What makes you think that I, the dear, or Kosisi, will condescend to date my gay man? You don't know me one day. You don't know me. You know what? Get your things and get the hell out of my house. Or I'll force you out. Yes. Live in peace. Yes, yes, yes. I know it will get to this. I know it will get to this. But you don't have to always remind me that I'm a gift man or that gift man, I know. Yes. But what I'm saying is that what you're doing is not fair. It's not fair, Lydia. It's not. Okay. I'll pay you your severance fee. It's not like you deserve it anyway, but I'll give it to you. So just get out of my house. Just to do. Just to do. I am always some people around. And I've made friends already. Just two days to sort out my affairs and I'm off. Okay. Just two days, Mr. Ada. Okay? Nothing more. But if you try anything stupid around my kids, you will sit the other side of me. Lydia. Oh, sorry, madam. You should always try to listen to your kids. It's very important. Thank you very much. I always listen to my children. Thank you, Mr. Ada. Thank you. No. One more thing. Stay away from my daughters. Or else I will make you sorry. Don't you dare me. No, I did the right thing. Then why do I feel as if I am wrong? <sighs> that is because you were beginning to develop tender feelings for him. Mm.
Please, sir. You can't see the bad thing. You need to go in, okay? Please, you need to go in. Uncle Adam, that is not the issue. I mean, what are you saying? You can't go. Krista, I don't want to go either. Your mother fired me. We will beg her. It will be good. Uncle Adam, please don't go. Don't go. <laughs> No, no, this is about you, okay? It's not about you. No! I won't let you go! I won't! You promised me I you go to her! Christopher, Christopher, please come back. Come back! Uncle Adam, will you take us with you? My love. I promise everything will be okay, okay? I promise you. Cindy and Krista, can't you see it's drizzling? Will you get inside? No! Leave us alone! Go away! Oh, you, you, you think I'll be moved with these tears? Uh, it doesn't work. This prance cannot get me. Hmm. I warned you, but you wouldn't listen. Your mom loves me so much. That she will never believe all the lies you're telling her about me. Lies. Ah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's go.
Maybe I should go and talk to her. No. I think I'll have to go first. Once she realizes I'm not interested in her money, then she will listen. But if she does not, uh, I think I, I still have one month to convince her. I may see him. He will do anything to brighten my day. The only person who truly cares of the kind of day I had. No, all of that was an act. My love. How was your day? Mm, just home waiting for you. Did you miss me? Mm, so very much. <laughs> I did miss How you. How are my babies? Oh. Hey, sweetie. My darling. Welcome, mommy. Thank you, love. How was your day? Fine, mommy. Angels, what is wrong? Nothing, Nothing, mommy. Mom, please, can we go back to our room now? Honey. What is wrong with them? I think their mind is in whatever program they are watching. Program? Mm hmm See, my love, I have something to tell you. What is it? First, you must tell me why you're home early today. <laughs> my love, I am only trying to do better. Look, I don't want you to be complaining I'm coming home late every day. My love, I'm not complaining. Are you sure? I know how many hours I need to work. But everything is fine, okay? Okay. 
Thank you. Now I'll take it upstairs, take some good showers, then get something to eat. All right. How about that? That's fine. Now, after you, Goodbye. or should I back you? Oh. to go to our room and eat. Your room? To eat? But why? I thought we always eat together when I'm around. Mom, I, 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 I thought maybe, maybe you would like to discuss with un 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 uncle, uh, our new daddy about your new we're ready. All right. Okay. Something is not right. Ma'am, your food is ready. Okay. Kelvin! Kelvin, sweetie! Messy, the food can wait. I'm coming. What is it? Nothing, Mom. My angel, I am your mother. I love you and your sister so much. Sweetheart, I know something is bothering you. How can I fix it if you don't tell me what is wrong? Mom. Mom. Cindy and I have been causing trouble. Mom, we are sorry. We promise to be a good daughter. Mom, I love you. I love you too, baby. Mm. I love you, sweetheart. Stop this thing with me. What the hell is going on? Your daughters, okay? I can never. Wait, I did. I mean, I, I mean. Yes, you did. You did. I get it. 
You want me gone? I promise you by this time tomorrow, I'll be out of this house. Or do you want me to live right away? That's what will make me happy. I you don't have to live right away. What happened? You didn't come home with your car, were you? Shh. I want to know what is going on in my house. What is going on in your house? Adam, see, my kids are acting weird. I know something is wrong somewhere. about them. They, they're acting funny. Like seriously. My goodness. These kids, they've been trying to pass a message to you. They've been trying to tell you that everything is not alright in this house. I'm surprised you're just realizing that. Now what do you want me to do? I should clap for you, right? Hmm? Adam, I know you think I'm a bad mother, but I love my kids. See, everything I've done, I did for them, including my engagement to Kelvin. No, you're not a bad mother, Lydia. I'm sorry, madam. But well, sometimes, all they want... Oh, never mind, I, I don't want to get involved here. Oh, Lydia, help me out here now, eh? See, something is not right. My kids, they seem lost. They seem subdued, as if they lost someone they love. They don't even want to be with me. What is going on? You mean they seem to resign? Something like that? Yes. But what have they resigned themselves to? What? Um, but why the sudden concern? If I may ask. Um, something is not right with my children. I need to know what is going on in this house. Mm -hmm. Have you suddenly forgotten I'm the one that paid them with lies and got them scared? Huh? Have you? Fine. Don't help me. I'll just go back to the office. Then I'll apply for emergency leave. I'll come back to this house and stay here the whole day until I get to the root of the matter. No. No. Staying at home will not solve the problem. It's not the issue here. Yeah. Then help me, Adam. Krista told me you love them. Yes, I did. Fine. So help me. Do it for their sake. I, I will only do this because of the kids. Oh, you're home so early. This is not the time. Okay, too early. This is not the time. All right. You know what? I'll just go in and stay in your room all day, okay? I'll stay there. My 
viral. Yes. Once you see anything, any movement or anything whatsoever, please alert me. Yeah? I thought you said that since I'm going tomorrow, that will be feeding me properly for a change. Yes, I said so. But I, I, I changed my mind because you don't deserve any of my kindness, Adamu. Adamu, you threatened me. Moi, mercy. You called me evil because of those little brats. <laughs> Adamu, look at you, how you are. You are the one that is being sacked from your job. And I am gallantly in charge for here, for this place, for this my arena. How you are? <laughs> Let me ask you. When you are gone, who will protect those kids? Tell me. The... <laughs> oh, Miss, you know what? When I look at you, I pity you. I pity you because it's only a senseless human being who have the mind to treat this defenseless Innocent children, the way you do. Nay, hey, yes, you're laughing now. But let me tell you, the camera that will visit you is on the way. Yes. And I'm attacking dragons. Aradite, nonsense. Rubbish. That's what you're talking for here. That's what you're doing. Because, anyway, are you thinking that those kids we keep telling their mother? Eh? No way, Adam. The kids are afraid because they, in fact they promise that they will not tell their mother because if they do we hurt her mother so they are terrified they are scared <laughs> miss you know what you are very very wicked you are heartless you are evil I know. My father taught me. He said, Mercy, be merciless. The world is merciless. And if you must conquer, you must be merciless. So I'm doing it. Huh? Anyway, enjoy the food while it lasts. Because he doesn't know when you eat again. Eh? Enjoy it. But when you finish, you exit for here. Because I chow and gumbo. I'm totally in charge. But ne I'm in charge for here. I am in charge for life. For here. They hear me. This is what she feeds my daughters. I do everything I can just to make sure that they don't starve. God, oh God. Yes, everything <laughs> got worse when she started sleeping with your boyfriend. What? Yes. I am going to kill this girl. 
<laughs> Lydia, Lydia, you have to go in. Your kids will soon be here. They'll be here any moment. <laughs> What are you doing outside? Can't you see it's drizzling? Oh, come on, come this way. What is it again? Uncle Adam, they had meant to give you food. Yes, she did, and why did you ask? Uncle Adam, she did not give us any food. And what am I eating yesterday? Uncle Adam, please don't leave. Uncle Adam, please. You promised you'd take care of us. Christian, Christian, let's not talk about the promise, okay? I, I'll keep to my promise. Besides, I, I, I crossed my heart and I swore to die. Yes, so you don't have to break it. Christian, I won't. Uncle Adam, do you have any food? No. Did they lock you guys out again? Yes. Uncle Adam, do you believe that? And she made me lock us outside and she collected our key. Okay, um, let me think about it. Um, okay, the problem now is hunger, right? Yes. Fine, let's focus on that. Um, yes, I, I have an idea. Let me call Jenny so she can come and take you guys to an eating so you can eat your satisfaction. Uncle Adam, who is Jenny? <sighs> Never mind, okay? I'll explain to you, okay? Okay. Uncle Adam, yes. can we take takeaway? Exactly. Eat whatever you want and you deserve it. The both of you. Okay? I love you, Uncle Adam. Oh, come on. <laughs> I love you, Mom. No, Uncle Adam, you say you love our mom you mom. I love your mom most, okay? <laughs> Wait, let me call Jenny before we forget. Then after that, I'll use my speaker and open the door. I'm sneaking and change to something fast, okay? okay. Alright? Let me call Jenny. Hi. 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 Hi.
I'm sure you feel better now, right? I don't feel better. I won't feel better until those idiots are out of my house. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll wait. I'll wait until they open that door. I'll wait. You don't have to wait, okay? I I still have the spare key to the house. Adam, you have the spare key to my house? Lydia, it's not actually what you think. You know, your kids are still very young, and if Messi should find out that they have the key, she will find a means to collect it from them. That's why I did. Okay, no problem. I don't care. I'm not angry. Just bring the key. The key? Yes. I want to cash them in the act. Bring the key. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. out of this house and your kids will be the happiest again just get them out of this house and your daughters will be the happiest okay Kevin, okay it's okay Kevin, it's okay let's, for let's, you. let's go outside okay Come down, 
calm down, okay? Let's calm down. <laughs> Add my logo. Papele. Can I get the leg of my shoes? Will you get out of here before I descend on you? Out of here! I hope you guys had fun. Yes, we do. Oh, I can see your face is shining. <laughs> so tell me what and what did you eat? Ooh, ice cream, lip balm. <laughs> Mommy! Mommy! Go back and Uncle Adam did tell us. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm back for you. Cindy, Krista. I am truly sorry. I'm so sorry I didn't believe what you said about Mercy and Kelvin. Please forgive me. Don't worry, Mom. They promise they won't hurt you. No, they won't. They no longer live here. What? Yes. I threw them out of the house. You, you did? Yes, I did. Cindy, remember I told you I will investigate the matter. So I did. And Uncle Adam helped me out. So I threw them out of our house. Immediately I found out exactly who they are. Yay! Thank you, Mommy. Mommy, thank you. Thank you for keeping your promise. Uncle Adam, thank you. And thank you too for being so brave. You know, I was scared. I was scared too. You know, but like they say, being brave is what you're supposed to do, even when you're scared. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm Lydia. I, I have to leave. Leave? Adam, you can't possibly leave now. No, Adam. But you said you love us. Mm, you said so. Yes. I love all of you. But my attention is needed somewhere now. Adam. Adam. Adam, please. I am truly sorry for all the things I said to you about me not dating my gate man. But you know, it doesn't matter to me. Adam, I already love you. See... I was only scared and confused that I might be wrong about Mercy and Kelvin. That was why I lashed out on you. I didn't mean to, please. I know that. Then why are you leaving? Uncle Adam, marry her now. Christabel. Yes, I agree with your daughter. 
<laughs> but you've not asked. You know, I asked Kevin to marry me. I don't know how you feel if I asked you to, you know. Um, you're right about that. <laughs> Please forgive me. You know, I am, I'm old fashioned. I'm not used to. Daughters. Lydia, will you marry me? Yes, we will marry you. Yes. Uh, I. <laughs> yes, I'll marry you. Oh, I'll marry you. Oh, my God. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh yes. <laughs> oh. This is nice. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love you so much. Look, Lydia. Yes. I promise we never regret this. I am not planning to. <laughs> You're not going to forget it, okay? Okay. Oh, but at the same time, I, I still have to leave. But why? Lydia. Yes. Miss, can you see it? Okay. Um, <clears throat> Lydia, I, I am not actually who you think I am. Yes. I am not just your gate man. Adam, what are you saying? Um, the first time I met you was six months ago. Yes. Uh, in one of my supermarkets. What? He, you were actually making calls that day. And I think you were talking to your ex. And you were so concerned about the way of your daughters. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry I listened to your conversations. But I'm glad I did. Because I like what I heard. And I like what I saw. Yes, I. I wanted a woman like you. I wanted a woman who would do anything for the ones she loves. So I, I followed you home. And my intention was to apply for your driver, 
so I can be close to you. But unfortunately, you said you're not in need of a driver. So I, I was, I was left with no option than to apply for a post of a gate man. And my intention was that maybe probably under three months, I will be able to seduce you. But funny enough, my three month lingered, lingered up to six months. <laughs> oh, but I, I am not regretting all that. Oh, oh, I see. Mm. No wonder you like being in charge. <laughs> Adam, so you're not a gate man. <laughs> oh <my God>. uh, <laughs> yes, God. it is occupational hazard. Anyway, there's a little problem in one of my branches, yeah. and Jenny, my PA, called that uh, my presence is needed, so I have to go. Hmm. Uncle Adam, so you are rich? Uh, not really, but I am not poor either. Good. <laughs> but wow, really, I don't know what to say. Come on, I don't need to say anything. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> I don't say anything. So, what about I come by on Saturday to pick all of you to my house? At least so you know where I'm staying. Huh. Okay. Mm, I think I like that. <laughs> Me too. Uh, Uncle Adam, uh, Uncle Adam, can we take a toast? Uh, I think it's not time for toast yet. Uh oh. Yeah. You see, sometimes we think that all our children need from us are material things, but it goes beyond material things. They need our love. They need our attention. They need someone to care for them. They need someone to listen to them. They need a friend. Be that your children. And they'll be fine. That's true. Uh, Krisa, now I can have the toast. Okay? Okay. <laughs> uh, Thank you, my darling. Thank you, dear. Yeah. Cindy, stand up. <laughs> um, yes. So we toast to a happy family. Okay. Hip hip hip! Hooray! Hooray. Hip.